Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to free up space on your iPhone, iPad, or any Apple device that you have that are filling up your space. In this tutorial, it's going to be pretty straightforward and simple for you to identify where your phone is using up most of the space and how you can clear that and be able to go ahead and use that space for other things. But before we go ahead and get started with today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaway, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are on the market for a phenomenal device like the ones that you see around here, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section for discounted iPhones and Apple devices. So let's talk about freeing up your iPhone storage the first thing you'll notice is that with iphone it's sort of limited in terms of how much space you can physically have on an iphone for example this is iphone 12 pro and if we go into settings that we have opened up here go to general about you'll notice here on this one this is all this is 128 gig and we used up almost half of the storage and there's about 57 available left and that means you know we're coming to the halfway mark we're going to want to probably clear some space out if you have even a smaller phone or a device with the storage that's even closer and you have videos and photos it's probably not much available and you're not able to take videos or update the software because those things do require you to have space to download well good thing is there's a couple things we can do to free up that space so what you're going to do is when you're in settings again to show you guys just quickly and you're going to go into settings and this time in settings you're going to go to general and once you're in general, you're going to want to go to scroll down to iPhone storage right around here. And this is going to be on the latest iOS 14, but this method will work on iOS 11 or later. So if your phone hasn't been updated past iOS 11 or so, you want to make sure you're at least on iOS 11 because this will not show up on or earlier devices. So as you can see here, an iPhone storage, it gives us a breakdown in terms of that 128 gig that we have and how much we have used up. So we use 69 gigs or so, close to 70 gigs, and it kind of gives you a breakdown what it's taking up that storage. As you can see, photo, for example, it takes up a lot of that, and photo is also included with video. And then we have apps, and then the system, and then messages. Depending on where you have different things, you might have see slightly different things. And one thing you'll notice in this page is a recommendation. So recommendations or built-in optimization uh, storage tool that allows you to see where you can consolidate and free up memory on your iPhone. And you want to simply click show all so you can get to see all of the recommendation the iPhone recommends that you use to save storage on your device. The first thing here, as you can see, iCloud Photos. It's saying that if we use iCloud Photos or the i iCloud, which you know will save around 35 gigs uh, of that. That's if you have the iCloud storage. If you're paying for iCloud storage, remember by default Apple gives you five gigs worth of day of iCloud storage. That means if we have 35, we're gonna have to buy more additional one. But what if you didn't want to pay it? Uh, that's fine as well. You don't have to enable that. That's a personal preference. Um, the next thing we look at is offload unused apps. So what happens is when you download a bunch of apps, they're using up a data and storage on your phone. And when you're running low, you might you want to um, turn this on so that it can offload those apps. Offloading apps mean that it's going to remove the apps, but keep your uh, data and media for that app still on your phone. It just will remove it. And you can go ahead, simply enable that on. As you can see now, we have a green. The next item you're going to see is recently deleted album. So what happens is when you delete videos or photos from your albums, it goes to another folder called recently deleted, which it keeps for about 30 days or so. As you can see here, we can save about 3.7 or 8 gigs worth of uh, storage by simply emptying that folder. Usually Apple, uh, when you delete stuff, it stays there for 30 days and incrementally after the 30 days, it will remove it by itself. But we can do this by simply emptying it here and it'll say that this will delete that and remove all that so you can't uh, restore back. So if you do that, you're going to save as you can see, we save about close to four gigs or so. The next thing you want to review is personal videos and photos. So as you can see here, by personal videos, videos are probably the biggest uh, memory consumption 
item on your iPhone. So as you can see here, we have about 30 gigs of video. And if we review our video, it will give us a breakdown in terms of which video is the biggest in terms of size that if we're really looking to free up space and we find there's duplicate videos or videos that are old, maybe there's videos that you recorded and you don't really need it. Maybe you moved it to another phone or your computer or have it saved somewhere else. You can simply come here and go ahead and edit and select those videos. So you wanna target the ones with the bigger gig. Of course, if you go down, you'll see one with the lower ones. Usually the bigger ones means they're lengthier videos. And depending on if you if those videos are 4K videos, they usually end up taking a lot more space on your device. And you can go ahead and simply, to show you guys, you can just simply click on something and you can delete it there. So that's how you would go about of removing or deleting uh, personal videos. And after that, you're gonna want to take a look at the next set of things, which is gonna be around photos, uh, videos, all of the apps that you have downloaded. And it gives you an idea of how much those memory, those apps are taking up or space that it's taking up. As we see here, our biggest contenders are photos and iMovie. Same thing here, if we click on iMovie here, we see it's using about 13 uh, or close to 13 gigs, 12.3 uh, or so. And we can go ahead and offload that app. Again, offloading an app simply frees up the storage used by app, but keeps its uh, documents and data. And then once you reinstall it, it'll be back on it. You can simply click on that and it will do that for you. And you wanna kind of review that across the board for your applications. Like we said, photos is gonna be a big hitter. You want to, if you have iCloud, Photos, you can probably use that and gonna not worry about much of that, but you wanna start reviewing your personal videos and removing things that you don't need. And simply go down here. Another one you'll probably see around is messages. Messages is another big one where if you have a large attachment, so when someone is sending you stuff or you're sending stuff like memes or videos that you found, maybe screenshot and things like that, if you review that, there's gonna be a lot of those here listed, and it's gonna tell you which of them are big size files. And what you can do is, most of the time when you're receiving stuff from someone, you might really not really need it, but not might have not realized that they might have sent you maybe a 10 minute video that maybe you don't need it from it, but it's sitting in your messages, and then because it's sitting in the messages as a attachment, it's taking up space. And simply to review that list, look at the big ones, and then go ahead and come up here, edit, and then select the ones that you don't need anymore, hit that trash can, and that will clear up the space, and you are about you can save a lot of mem storage there as well, and you can go ahead and do that as well for it. And then take a look at other applications that you have on your phone. If you see apps that you haven't used in a while or you're not sure that you're not gonna be using it, uh, simply look at it and go ahead and maybe even delete that app and get that storage back on your device. So that's a good way to review it. So this is pretty much sums it up in terms of freeing up your iPhone storage that you have. You can also, you know, buy iCloud storage, like we said, if you can pay for that monthly, but this is probably the best you're gonna get when it comes to clean our off space. Remember the one, the biggest thing on your phone is gonna be videos. They take up the most space. So the less video you can have or smaller videos that you can have, the more free space you'll have. After videos, probably, things like apps taking up data, especially some of the apps that have larger files, maybe even to a degree after that would be if you read books or download books like PDF, they're gonna be large as well. Some, some books all can be a couple gigs worth of it that you can save there. So if you don't need to read a book or if you read the book or something like that, you can probably go ahead and do that. To show you guys how to delete an app on the actual screen here on iPhone 12 with the latest iOS, you're gonna simply hold and then click on that minus icon to remove it. So to show you guys how that's done in real time, let's pick an app that we don't want. Let's say we want to remove Yelp. We simply go ahead and click on remove and it will ask you if you want to delete this app. We're gonna hit delete 
and a delete again and that will remove the app that we don't use no longer freeing up some space so hopefully these tips help you guys in terms of freeing up your space giving you guys that mem that additional storage memory that you need to download maybe the, uh, the latest ios update that's coming out or to take more photos and videos thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys next time